Welcome back to Sabir CAD. In this video, I'll introduce you to a number of smart features of Bricks CAD Lite, which is the 2D drafting module of Bricks CAD. So let's get started. I'll start with the dynamic dimensions. When the dynamic dimension is on, you will get an interface at the cursor position to specify the length and angle while you create a linear entity. If you want to perform dynamic dimensions, you have to activate the dynamic mode field in the status bar. So I'll click on the dynamic mode field at the status bar. Now I'll draw a line from here to here. Now you can see two values getting dynamically changed. One is the length, another one is the angle. If you want, you can input a particular length to fix the length of the line. I'll give the length of the line as 100 units. Then I'll press the tab key to give the next dimension value, which is the angle. I'll give 45 degrees and give an enter. Now this line has got a length of 100 units and it is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. Now I'm going to construct a table in front of this chair. I'll click on rectangle. When you move the cursor, you can see the values of length and width of this rectangle getting dynamically changed. I'm going to give a value of 120 as the length. And I'll press the tab key and I'll give a value of 45 as the width. I'll give enter. Now you have created a table with the given dimensions. Hence by using dynamic dimensions, you will get flexibility in inputting dimensions when you create an entity. Thereby you can save time. Now I'll introduce the smart feature nearest distance in Bricks CAD. Nearest distance will allow you to dynamically view and change the distance between any two selected entities. For example, I'll select this wall as well as this edge of the table. Now you can dynamically see the distance between these two selected entities. You will also see an arrow here. That means if you change the value here, the second selected entity will get moved because the arrow is pointed in this direction. Now I'll input the value 10. Now the second entity is moved in such a way that the distance between these two edges is 10. I'll give enter. I'll select this entity as well as this entity. Now you can see that the arrow is pointed in this direction. Now I'll again change the value to say 5. Now the second entity is moved. Hence nearest distance is very easy to execute and it will help you save time and effort. Next, I'll introduce you to the rollover tips. The BricsCAD interface shows everything that you need and nothing that you don't. For example, when I hover the cursor on this particular circle, you will get an interface and this is a rollover tips. You can see the color of this entity here, layer in which it is created, the radius of that circle and the area. But if I take my cursor onto this particular line, you can see its properties such as color, layer and its length. Whereas if I take the cursor onto this text, it will show you the properties and the height as the parameter. Hence, you can get properties and parameters related with entities simply by hovering the cursor onto any desired entity. The next smart feature in BricsCAD is the Quad Cursor menu. Quad Cursor will give you a context sensitive menu using which you can do anything and everything related with the entities that you choose. Before using the quad, make sure that the quad menu is active in the status bar. I'll just click to activate uh, the quad. Then I'll right click on the screen. Now we have got the quad in the now selection state. Here you can see the various commands. And when you take the cursor onto this displayed icons, the quad expands. Now we'll hover over this particular circle and you can see the quad here and it will show you the most relevant commands related with the circle by category here these are the various categories edit modify draw select and 2d constraints 
Now while hover over the modify category, you can manipulate the circle, you can erase it, you can move the circle, or you can copy it. For example, I would like to copy the circle. So just click on that copy command. It will ask you for the base point and the second point. You have got a copy of the circle. Hence, Quad is a very powerful and intuitive interface using which you can save a number of keystrokes and mouse movements which you otherwise do in other CAD softwares. Next smart feature in BricsCAD is the Hotkey Assistant. This feature will let you select an object based on object level or sub-object level using a simple interface. If you want to access the Hotkey Assistant interface, you should activate the HKA button at the status bar. Now it's already active. Now I'll take the cursor onto this rectangle. Now you can see an interface appearing at the bottom uh, starting with control key an icon to select in the object level or in the sub-object level. And this rectangle is made up of a polyline. So if I make a click now, by default, uh, the rectangle will be selected in the object level and the code displays the most relevant commands that is applicable to the entire rectangle. I'll hover the cursor onto this rectangle. Now I'll press Ctrl key and you can see that it has switched over to the sub-object level. Now the software highlights only one segment of the rectangle. Now when I make a click, only that particular segment is selected and quad displays options which are relevant to this polyline segment. Hence you have selected the polyline in the sub-object level. Now I'll go to edit option and I'll choose the add vertex option and I'll just click to add a vertex uh, right at the midpoint of the segment. Now if I make a click, only this particular segment is selected. Next I'll go to the quad and here I'll use this option to adjust the bulge and that is applicable only for this segment. In other CAD softwares, you have to execute a number of commands to get this result. Whereas in BricsCAD, everything is at your fingertips because of the machine learning capability of the software. Now I'll talk about real-time boundary detection in BricsCAD, which is another smart feature. BricsCAD automatically detects and highlights the boundaries as you hover over entities. For this, you have to first activate the Enable Boundary Detection. Now I'll hover over this entity and the BricsCAD shows the perimeter and area as rollover tips. Now if I keep the cursor on a different location and that boundary is highlighted and the perimeter and area of that boundary is shown. In other CAD softwares, you have to invoke some other commands to get this information. Now I'll take the cursor onto the quad. You will get commands to offset or create a boundary or you can add a hatch inside that area. Suppose if I want to add a hatch, you can just click here and the hatch is added. Next I'll hover over this area and that area is highlighted. Now I'll click on the offset command in the quad. Now I can offset this boundary by specifying a distance. So you can imagine how cool is this feature. In a few clicks, I could get the relevant information such as area, perimeter and I could also perform hatch and offset. Next, I'll introduce you to the smart feature in BricsCAD that is copy guided. It is far more advanced than the copy command which you normally use. I'll illustrate copy guided with an example. Suppose if I want to copy this window onto a different location in plan, conventionally you give copy command, then you select the window then choose the base point and you have to specify a second point over here then you have to rotate this window using the rotate command specify the base point then you have to specify a rotation angle then you have to move and copy onto the required location now let's try copy guided in this contest so i'll click on copy guided command and select the window using a standard window like this and these two wall lines are guide curves. Now I can locate the window over here. Okay, it is properly aligned and it has also performed all the required trimming and cleanups. Now I'll insert the window over here. When you take the cursor onto this window, it is automatically aligned and it has performed cleanups as well. Now we'll also perform one more insertion of the same window over here. So you can imagine the amount of time and effort you have saved in this procedure. Now I'll show you one more example. I'll click on copy guided command and I'll select 
this chair using a window and I'll define this window in such a way that the line of the table will also get included. The guidelines will be shown in blue color. I'll take my first copy over here. You can just make a pick to define or else you can give an angular value. Presently the angle is displayed as 90. Then you can take the next copy over here at this particular angle or else you can input an angular value. Next copy I would like to keep it at 0 degrees. Like this you can take multiple copies aligned along the circle. Hence copy guided command is far more advanced than the standard copy command. Next we will see the move guided command which is introduced in the latest version of BricsCAD. Move guided can be used for automatic repair as well as to move a set of entities to a different locations with automatic repair. Let's see that. So I'll click on move guided and I'll select uh, this uh, window and I'll just keep it over here in location which is outside the drawing. Now you can see that it has performed automatic repair. That is one application of move guided. Next I'll move this four panel window to a different location and let's see that how it aligns itself with the wall as well as it performs automatic repair. So I'll click on move guided tool and I'll select this window. Now I'll take this window onto this wall. Now you can see that it has aligned itself with the wall and it has performed automatic repair. Hence if you use move guided command you can save a number of editing operations when you move an object from one location to another which is in the same or in a different orientation. And it will also perform automatic repair when you delete an object which is made up of a number of entities. So that's all about some of the smart features of Bricks Catalyte. Please feel free to contact me if you want to know more about this fabulous product. You can either subscribe or purchase this software online for a very reasonable pricing. You can WhatsApp me or mail me to get the best pricing. Until I catch you with the rest of the features, bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time.